Steffi and I'm super excited for today's video because I'm going to be showing you how to make this collage wall. It was a lot of work because I decided to actually tape all of these onto a poster board instead of straight onto my wall because I didn't really want to ruin the paint and everything. So if you want to see how you can make your own one of these, keep watching. The first step is to buy supplies and I just went to Michael's and I bought six plain poster boards. I got a lot of double-sided tape and I also got these scotch tape velcro things to stick my poster to the wall. Step two is to measure the wall and so I did this by sticking masking tape onto the back corners of the poster boards and then sticking the blank poster boards to the wall to figure out how many I would need to cover my wall. And then I just took a pencil and marked the spots where I would need to cut the poster board to cut it down to size. Step three is to prepare your poster board. This was honestly really difficult for me because taping the poster boards to the wall once they're taped there, it's hard to rip them off the wall, so that was kind of bad insight on my part. But what I ended up doing was taping all the poster boards together while they were on the wall, and then peeling it off as one giant piece of paper. Once I had this giant piece of paper all laid out on my floor, I measured the areas where I needed to trim down the poster board and then I just cut it with scissors. Next I decided to reinforce the scotch tape that I'd already put on the poster board and went over with a layer of masking tape. Step four is to choose your photos that you want to put up for your collage, and I think this part is super fun. I just went on Pinterest, and I actually used a lot of photos from my Pinterest board called Aesthetic, and I will link that below for you guys. And I also airdropped some photos of me and my friends just so my wall could be a little more personal, and then I dragged all of those onto my desktop. Step five is to print and cut out photos. And for this, I just took all my photos from my desktop and put them into a pages document. And from there, I just printed it in color onto my printer. After your photos are printed off, you can start cutting them out. And I actually would print a photo and then cut it out as another one was printing to save time. And what I also did was I took a Whole Foods bag and I would put my scraps of paper in there so my room didn't get too messy. And as you can see, I cut out photos of friends, pictures that I've taken myself, some really aesthetic photos, and some pattern backgrounds. The next step is to lay out your design on your poster board to kind of get an idea of what you want. And before I laid out my photos, I divided all of my pictures into four piles based on size. Next, I just started laying down the photos. I'm not taping them yet because I'm not totally sure where I want them to go. So this part does take a while, but I definitely recommend taking your time because once you tape your photos down, you can't really change where they are.
step seven is to tape your photos to your poster board and I used double-sided tape for this. It worked pretty well because the pictures kind of bubble if you use glue, so I definitely recommend the double-sided tape. One trick I did was to take a picture of how I had laid it out before I started taping, so that way I had a reference when taping down the photos. Step eight is to tape down the edges that have kind of curled up. I actually ended up using poster putty to stick down the edges because the tape just wasn't holding it as well, but you can try either and see which way works best for you. Step nine is to actually stick your poster to the wall and I used these scotch tape velcro strips and they came with directions on the back so if you get these you can read kind of how to apply it to the wall. Then here's some footage of me just hanging it up on my wall. I would definitely recommend having someone help you with this. I tried to do it by myself and I mean, it worked out great, but it would be a lot easier if you had someone else there to help. And step 10 is to just enjoy your collage. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you decide to make your own collage wall be sure to send me a photo on instagram i'll have my handle like right here and i will see you guys next saturday with a new video bye